Let's search for a gene in TCGA land. To explore gene level data and views, in the search box, type NUSAP1. The search bar dynamically displays matches to your query. The default view for gene level data is the DNA alteration distribution view. Each sample with DNA alteration data for NUSAP1 is grouped by tumor type and subgrouped by type of alteration if an alteration was detected. The types of mutations shown can be changed under the mutation filter tab. And details of the mutations in these samples can be viewed by clicking view filtered table. There are many other views available for gene level data. For DNA-seq data, the somatic mutation distribution view shows the frequency of different types of mutations within NUSAP1 grouped by tumor type. The somatic mutation landscape view shows where along the gene mutations are found. The Genome Browser view also displays where mutations are found along NUSAP1, grouped by tumor. For RNA-seq data, gene expression data can be displayed along with exon usage as well as fusions and mutations that were detected. RNA-seq expression data in Oncoland were processed from raw FASTQ files in a common pipeline log2 transformed, and quantile normalized to allow for comparisons between samples. The gene FPKM view shows gene expression levels in each sample, grouped by tumor type, and colored by tumor versus normal. The summary FPKM view shows the frequency of our gene of interest being up or down regulated in each tumor type. Cutoffs for up or down regulation can be changed under the Expression Filter tab. What if we want to detect FGF12 transcript differences in a single tumor type? Type FGF12 in the search box. Open the Genome Browser Exxon Details view. Now filter for prostate adenocarcinoma, which is PRAD. To compare between tumor and normal, we can change grouping to sample type. Here, exon level coverage is shown. First, look at the overall expression levels at the bottom. Notice that metastatic samples express FGF12 much more than other samples. It turns out, however, that this is a single sample in the dataset. Now look at the transcript usage track. This displays the distribution of each transcript in sample types. This shows that tumor samples tend to express one transcript, while normal samples express a different transcript. Gene fusion events can be detected from RNA-seq data. Let's look at the gene ERG. Select the fusion RPKM view.
This shows a separate chart for each identified ERG fusion, measuring expression levels of these fusion genes. The types of fusion events that are displayed can be filtered under the Fusion Filter tab. Now click the Fusion Site Frequency view. This displays the frequency of each fusion in different tumors. Several fusion events occur frequently in PRAD tumors. Details of a fusion event can be viewed by clicking Fusion Details in the View Controller. This downloads expression data to the Analysis tab. Here we see the expression of each gene involved in the fusion, as well as expression of the fusion gene grouped by tumor. Mutations can be detected in RNA-seq data, which are found using Omicsoft's mutation detection algorithm. Under RNA-seq mutation, choose the mutation site distribution view. This displays the frequency of identified mutations in each tumor category. Again, details of the types of mutations considered can be changed in the Mutation Filter tab. For samples with matched tumor and normal RNA-seq from a single patient, somatic mutations can be called. These events can be seen in the Somatic Mutation Site Distribution view. Gene expression microarray data also have multiple views, comparing tumor and normal samples to a universal re reference set. A small number of genes, such as BRAF, have protein array data. Under Protein, click Normalized RPPA to see how protein levels change in tumor types. Copy number variations, measured by Affymetrix SNP data, has several views to see copy number landscapes. Click Summary to see what fraction of samples have an amplification or deletion event for BRAF. Click Copy Number to see the log 2 ratio of each sample's copy number over expected. As expected, most normal samples have a log 2 ratio of 0. Finally, methylation data can be viewed for a given gene, summarized by probe location or in the genome browser.